Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and um, just wanted to do a video because I have questions from some people about the new Edge Chromium browser. A lot of you have been uh, curious about what is happening and how is it different from the main Edge browser or or how does it differ from maybe Google Chrome. So here's the thing, uh, Microsoft Edge is being rewritten with the Edge Chromium uh, engine. The Chromium engine is an open source engine that is the base or the basic of uh, what you have in Google Chrome actually. And you can take that Chromium engine and of course transform this in a browser that you know with all the add-ons that you wish you have and all the stuff that you want. So uh, this is something that is um, interesting because of course Google Chrome being the most popular browser around it also means that the Chromium engine is the most um, I would say that a browser built around the Chromium engine is probably the most compatible with everything on the web. Microsoft for a long time had its own browser of course it started with Internet Explorer now it's the uh, Microsoft Edge browser in Windows 10 and what happens is those two browsers have Microsoft's own engines within these browsers and that causes issues on some websites um, another a great example is how even you know you wonder if there's not maybe something happening there and Google maybe kind of uh, doing it in purpose but if you go to if you're a youtuber and you go to the YouTube uh, studio the creator studio you uh, will notice that in edge it's super long to appear but in Chrome it appears like instantly so you know there are things like that that are different so of course Microsoft decided uh, let's forget about doing our own thing and let's get onto the standard and have the Edge browser become Chromium based and that's what's happening with Edge Chromium and of course you can actually download the Edge Chromium um, browser and I'll put the link to this uh, download page in the description below the video so, and the questions people ask me is, okay, uh, first, can I install this safely without breaking anything? Yes, this does not change or touch anything in your main browser that you're using. If you're using Google Chrome and are kind of curious and want to see what Edge Chromium is all about, you can install this and it won't touch anything on Chrome. Chrome's still going to work, still going to be your default browser, and there's no problem there. You can... Uh, test it out without fear of anything breaking up. At the worst, well, Edge Chromium will be broken, but the rest will still work. Uh, the other question that a lot of people ask me is, can I install both the Canary and Developer Channel one? Yeah, you can install both at the same time on, on your main machine. There's no problem, you'll have both. What's the difference between the two available versions right now? Uh, Canary Channel is updated every day where the developer channel is updated every week typically on Thursdays most of the time so you'll have less updates but the Canary channel is more advanced it's in the latest version all the time where the developer channel because of its weekly update is a little you know further back it doesn't have the latest 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 but it will probably have less problems than the Canary channel maybe although yet I haven't had any problems with those uh, browsers at all and it's totally free and you don't have to be a Microsoft Windows Insider to be an Edge Insider. You just go to the page here, download it and try it. There's no, uh, you, you don't have to sign up or anything. Uh, there's really, really, uh, you don't have to be a Windows, Microsoft 10, Windows, uh, Microsoft 10, <laughs> Windows 10 uh, Insider to be a Chrome, um, Chromium, Edge Chromium Insider. Uh, it's a separate thing. So uh, anybody can just go and download it and try it out. A beta channel one version is coming soon. This one will be updated every six weeks. So probably even less problems and more features every time there's an update. And so the main difference between the regular Edge is the engine. The Chromium engine being more compatible with pretty much all the stuff on the web. And for those that are asking what would be the difference and why would I move to Edge Chromium rather than Google Chrome? Well, it's not sure yet up to where this is going to go, but there's a lot of talk about 
privacy settings and changes to uh, some of the internal modes where a lot of the Google services, first of all, won't be able to spy on you. And the privacy settings, there's a promise that they might actually make you more private than what Google Chrome can offer. This will have to be seen. We're not there yet, and we're not at the final version. So, you know, there's a difference between promises and the real deal. But at least we can check that out and see what's going to happen. So that's pretty much what's happening. And if you want to try it, just download it. It's safe, and uh, it's right now just for Windows 10. But it's coming to Mac OS. It's coming to Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8. Uh, it's coming to Linux, apparently. It's going to be eventually available for mobile devices like uh, your iPhone, your iPads, and your Android phone and um, tablets. So um, it's, it's coming slowly to uh, a device near you, I would say. And last, when will this be released? We don't have a date yet, of course. It's still in test form. They're still working on it. But it will eventually replace Microsoft Edge, that is, with Windows 10, because that's going to be the main browser instead of the regular Microsoft Edge browser that we have right now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.